Okay, hello. So, this is our lesson for today about factoring the greatest common monomial factor. So, this topic is for grade 8 math for the first quarter. And it is module 1, special products and factors. And it is based on milk, most essential learning competencies, which is factors completely different types of polynomial. So, one of this is the factoring the greatest common monomial factor okay so we're going to factor polynomials with common monomial factor okay so what is factoring so let's have uh, let's have the definition of factoring factoring is the process of finding the factors of an expression which is the reverse process of multiplication okay reverse means kabaliktaran Okay, before we proceed, let's recall what is prime number. A prime number is a number greater than 1 which has only two positive factors, 1 and itself. Pag sinabi natin prime number, hindi na natin siya maipafactor pa maliban sa 1 at saka kung ano yung number na yun. Okay, so number 1 example, factor 12x cubed y raised to 5 minus 20x raised to 5 y square z step number one find the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficients okay next get the uh, prime factors of the numerical coefficients okay for 12 we have 2 times 2 times 3 and the factor of 20 is 2 times 2 times 5 and then we're going to find the common one Okay, the common factors are 2 and 2. Then we're going to multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. So the GCF of 12 and 20 is 4. Okay, now let's have step number 2. Find the variable with the least exponent that appears in each term of the polynomial. So ibig sabihin, nanapin natin yung variable na may pinaka pinakamaliit na exponent, okay? So, since x and y are both common to all terms, so, ibig sabihin, parehong may x at saka y yung dalawang terms, and 3 is the smallest exponent for x, 2 is the smallest exponent for y, thus, x cubed and y squared is the GCF of the variables. Okay, again, uh, pipiliin natin yung may pinakamaliit na exponent which is common doon sa, sa mga terms na binigay ng polynomials. Okay? So, next, we have step number 3. The product of the greatest common factor in A and B is the GCF of the polynomial. So, hence, the 4x cubed y squared is the GCF of 12x cubed y raised to 5 minus 20x raised to 5 y square z. Again, the GCF is 4x cubed y square. Okay, step number 4. To completely factor the given polynomial, divide the polynomial by its GCF. The resulting quotient is the other factor. Okay, so we have 12 x cubed y raised to 5 minus 20 x raised to 5 y square z. Then GCF is 4 x cubed y square. Okay, and then edi divide natin yung polynomial, uh, which is the given, divided by the GCF, which is 4 x cubed y square. Okay, to find the quotient, um, 12 divided by 4 is 3. x cubed divided by x cubed. Um, pag pag nagdi-divide tayo, nagsusubtract tayo ng exponent. So, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, any number na naka-raise is 0 is equal to 1. Or, we can cancel x cubed. Next, y raised to 5 divided by y square. Uh, 5 minus 2 is 3. Therefore, we have 3y cubed. Next term, we have negative 20 divided by 4. The answer is negative 5. Then, x raised to 5 divided by x cubed, subtract their exponent, 5 minus 2 is 2. Then, y squared divided by y squared, so 2 minus 2 is 0, so we can cancel y squared, and then we have z. So, the quotient now is 3y cubed minus 5x squared z. So, the factored form is 4x cubed, 
y square times 3y cube minus 5x square z. Okay, so thus the factored form of the given polynomial is 4x cube y square times 3y cube minus 5x square z. Okay, so let us check our answer. Okay, to check our answer, we simply multiply the factored form. Okay, so 4x cube y square times 3y cube, it is equal to 12x cube y raised to 5. 4x cube y square times negative 5x square z. The answer is negative 20x raised to 5 y square z. Okay, pag nagmumultiply tayo, ina-add natin yung exponent. Okay, next let's have an example number 2. Factor 8x square plus 16x. So, meron tayong another way on how to factor uh, greatest common monomial factor. So, Okay, so let's have another technique to find the GCF. Okay, first you're going to factor the first term, 8x square. So that is 2 times 2 times 2 times x times x. Okay, with frame numbers. Next, 16x, factor with frame numbers. We have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times x. Okay, then find the common. We have 2. Next, another 2. Then, we have another 2, and then, another common is x. So, therefore, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times x. We're going to multiply 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 times x is 8x. Therefore, our GCF here is 8x. Okay, again, the GCF is 8x. Then, the given polynomial is 8x squared plus 16x. And another is, or again, the GCF is 8x. Then, we're going to divide the given expression by the greatest common factor to get the other factor. Okay, so to find the quotient, 8x squared divided by 8x, the answer is x. Because 8 divided by 8 is 1. x squared divided by x, we subtract the exponent, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, then 16x divided by 8x, the answer is 2. Okay, so the factored form is 8x times x plus 2. Okay, next, let's have another example, number 3. Factor 12x raised to 5, y raised to 4, minus 16x cubed, y raised to 4, plus 28x raised to 6. Okay, to find the GCF, we're going to factor the numerical coefficients with prime numbers. So, we have 12, the factor is 2 times 2 times 3. And factor 16... Uh, the prime number factor is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Then, factors of 28 is 2 times 2 times 7. Then, we're going to get the common factors. We have 2. Then, another one is 2. So, 2 times 2 equals 4. So, that is the GCF of the given polynomial 4. Okay, uh, for the coefficients or for the variables, okay, if we're going to find the least exponent, yung pi may pinakamababang exponent which is common doon sa tatlong terms. So, ang pinakamababang exponent ay, um, exponent ng x is x cubed. Okay, the question is, bakit hindi kasama yung y raised to 4 or the variable y? Okay, hindi kasama ang y sa GCF kasi um, hindi siya common sa lahat ng terms. Common lang siya sa first and second terms. But the third is hin walang y na variable. So that's why ang GCF lang natin is 4x cubed. And to find the other factor, i-divide lang natin yung uh, given factor natin or given polynomials natin sa GCF. So, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 
x raised to 5 divided by x cubed is x square. Iso subtract lang natin yung exponent. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then we have y raised to 4. So note that yung natirang hindi common kanina which is 3. Yun yung uh, nasa other factor natin. Okay, next, negative 16 divided by 4. The answer is negative 4. And x cubed divided by x cubed, subtract the exponent, 3 minus 3 is 0. Okay, so we can cancel x cubed. And then now we have y raised to 4. Okay, note na yung natirang factor kanina na hindi common, which is 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so next... 28 divided by 4 is 7. Then, x cubed divided by x. Uh, x raised to 6 divided by x cubed is x raised to 3. So, subtract the exponent. 6 minus 3 is 3. Okay? And note that the other factor is 7. Then, um, again, the factor of 12. Uh, to factor 12, x raised to 5, y raised to 4, minus 16, x cubed, y raised to 4. Plus 28x raised to 6. Um, the GCF is 4x cubed. And the other factor is 3x squared. Y raised to 4 minus 4y raised to 4 plus 7x cubed. The factored form is 4x cubed times 3x squared. Y raised to 4 minus 4y raised to 4 plus 7x cubed. Okay, I think you are ready. This is for your activity. Factor the following polynomials. We have number 1. 6m plus 8. Number 2, 27d raised to 40 raised to 6 minus 9d squared t raised to 5 plus 15d raised to 3 t squared. And number 3, 4x squared, y raised to 3, plus 8x, y raised to 4, minus 12x cubed, y raised to 3. Okay, good luck. And thank you for watching. So, please subscribe, like, and click the bell for more math video lesson. This is my FB account, Erika Monar, and FB group math video lesson, a reviewer. And my YouTube channel, Matish. Thank you.